Hello? Uh, Mr. Jorgens? Yes. Hi, Ron Pelletier, Manalaska Police Department. Ron, hi, how are you doing? Good, yourself? Oh, not too bad, long time no here. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, have you heard what I'm calling about? Okay, uh, Ron, what it is is, uh, uh, you know my brother Martin? Yes, I do. Yeah, um, do you know the girl that's living with him there? I don't know who she is. Okay, don't say her name because we're being recorded. No, that's okay. Okay, um, he says that a police officer came to his house for her for some reason, and when she was, th when he was there, uh, he confronted Marty, asking him if, he was me, saying, are you Mark Jerkins, pointing his finger at his chest there, and Marty says, and uh, Marty says, no, I'm his brother, and he says, uh, then you better ask him to back off. Um, this is what Marty tells me. I, I'm beginning to believe that Marty may not be telling the truth. Um, it's obvious that this is causing some stir around here. Yeah. You know what I'm doing, don't you? Okay, I've fired off a YouTube playlist. Maybe you should check it out. Just punch in MFB UFF. MFB UMF. All in capital letters. And you'll see a bunch of videos that I put there. There's about 32 of them or something like that. Okay. This is all concerning my battles for the use of medical marijuana. Okay. Okay. Uh, you will see the hell that I've gone through with my doctors, my psychologists, and my social workers over this, and the fact that I still, to this day, do not have my license back, Ron. Okay. My suspension was up over ten months ago. Um... Excuse me, there's a problem there, okay, because I am not using alcohol at all, and that's why I lost my license. And I'm sorry, sir, but I refuse to stop taking one medicine that works for me, especially when I've got nine of them sitting over here that will kill me if I continue taking them. Do you understand what I'm saying, sir? Yeah. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I have not been able to get down to see Dr. Sulak yet. I don't have the $300 it takes to pay him for that, okay? I'm disabled. I live on $800 a month. How am I supposed to pay my rent and live and come up with that kind of money and then pay for the ride down there, the hotel, and the ride back and everything else and trouble somebody else to do all that for me, okay? I am fighting to change that. My call is I would like to know who the police officer was that went to my brother's house to, and gave him a hard time because he thought he was me. I, I don't know that we have any officer that went there. I don't find anything that indicates that. Nothing at all? In the past week or? Not, not that I can read in the, the, in the logbook. Uh... Well, okay. It's, it's, uh, it's obvious then. Uh, Yeah, but if, if somebody if a, if an officer goes to a, a citizen's house, isn't that supposed to be logged? Yes, it is. Okay, well, if it's not logged there, then it didn't happen. Okay, we'll we'll just leave it at that then, and I'll say that my brother is lying. Well, that's that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying <laughs> the funny thing in the log. Okay, all right, Ron. Hey, thank you very much for okay, your help. Sir. Hey, um, <laughs> how's life, man? I'm sorry, we're, I'm so angry here, you know. Um, geez, you know, my brother's a big guy, and he and I just about had a knockdown drag out over this. <laughs> he wants me to stop what I'm doing. Yeah, well, that's. That's an issue between you and him. That's really nothing to do with the police. I know, I know. I just wanted to find out if what he was telling me was true. Well, I don't find anything in the log that indicates that any officer went there. Let me put it that way. Okay, all right, Thanks. Ron. All right, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Well, that right there is proof that when you believe in a cause that nobody else believes in, you are up against a hard time to get that cause accomplished. But you know what? I got nothing better to do, so why not?